arise. I mean, infrastructure constraints, yes, we're still relatively fortunate in South Africa. Mm. But if you look at your client base, and if I think at, of something like electricity supply, for instance, what are our clients doing to, we had blackouts or downtime in ESCOM 18 months, two years ago. What are our clients doing who are in the cold chain, for instance, in moving fruit to overcome those challenges? Yeah, Ru, we've been quite actively speaking to those type of clients on alternative power solutions. Um, I think a lot of our clients has moved into the into the solar and alternative energy type of sources and we we actively help them to, to sort of finance those type of projects. Um, currently, it's probably not viable from a financial perspective to, to go 100% off grid. But I mean, I think as soon as tech, the, the sooner technology improves, um, more and more mega farmers and producers uh, will move towards sort of alternative energy uh, to, to sustainably uh, mm. give power to the necessary needs. But um, we funded some of those projects yeah, in the past. Um, I think specifically solar. Specifically solar. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure about the Cape. Uh, there's a lot of uh, wind turbines in, 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 mm. in, let's call it Cape Province. Up here north, we we've got less wind, but the but the solar element is definitely uh, increasing. Uh, we're getting a lot more requests from clients to assist them and to sort of. Um, get a consortium mm. together to, to look at th those type of projects. And solar would be a would be a expansion we'd be willing to fund, I would Definitely. think. Yeah. We've got a dedicated team uh, in the bank uh, looking at solar, advising, uh, dealing with external service providers who is the real uh, specialist in the field and uh, sort of a joint effort in solutioning the client on a turnkey solution is what we aim for. Yeah, and as EPSA, as a, as a renewable energy financier is one of the leading uh, company, mm. leading banks, leading financiers in the industry of uh, specifically solar. So I think that's the one thing that's good. We see it in the other African countries. Farmers need to be resourceful and businesses as well to solution their problems. We know power uh, pr provision is a key factor. If you look at some mm. farmers, they can't be without power for extended periods. Uh, you guys mentioned the cold storage. Uh, if you take any poultry industry in summer, the, the temperatures in those poultry houses are so much so if you switch off their, their ventilation, it'll be a couple <laughs> hours and you'll lose a whole flock. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think consistent, reliable power generation, power supply is so key moving forwards. And these are, I think, one of the key elements that's been mentioned by numerous farmers' organizations is to look at your complete requirements of power, water, logistics. And we, I think we've seen that in the secondary industry mm -hmm. more and more where people want to take control of that or have a participation in that to make sure they're getting top quality service. And I think that's one of the, we see it across Africa now with so consist, consistent supply continues to be an issue. There's a number of projects going up now financed by a number of development banks, new hydropower, uh, operations, solar, wind, uh, so it all, it's almost like a, a drive to improve power generation and it will be interesting once they come online, all these projects, and we know the commissioning phase takes years some, in some instances, mm -hmm. but once they're all in place, I'm sure we're going to see a much improved electricity supply within the, the whole African continent. I'm sure that will help with development going forward, so that we can then achieve those double-digit yes. GDP growth rates that, that it's always been, we're always striving for. And once you have power and water, you can start producing, you can start doing mm. something. I think mm. Israel is a good example yeah, of that. Yeah, definitely. Instance. The Northern Cape, which is an arid region, is uh, producing the best export grapes in the world. Mm -hmm.